right, y'all, let me get our breakdown real quick. We're at uh, HD off of Sepulveda to uh, pick up an empty container. Then we got to take the empty container to ITS. Then from ITS, we got to go to San Bernardino to LG and drop it off. And from there, we'll see if we'll bobtail out or if you got to take another empty back to the ports. Hopefully, it's an easy day at ITS. And uh, it should be an easy day because I'm not bobtailing in. And I don't have to go on the chassis hunt. Uh, we got some uh, empties. So uh, let's see how fast we can complete this load today. So uh, let's get it. All right, y'all, so we in the game right now, like EA Sports, you feel me? Uh, we finna go on this little empty container hunt. That's always fun coming to these drop yards because uh, they can be anywhere. So we just gotta drive around this joint until we're able to find it. And then we can go ahead to the ports. And uh, hopefully it's Thursday, so I'm thinking that ITS shouldn't be that busy around this time. But uh, we'll see what happens. And um, I don't want to be at the ports all day. I got to get my load before they do shift change or I'm going to be chilling for an hour doing nothing. Um, probably watching some YouTube, but it's all good. Sometimes and things happen like that and you get a little bit of wait time. But uh, let's see where this loading, uh, this empty container is at. This guy wants me to move out of his way. He's looking at me crazy. Yeah, you know, sometimes these uh, truckers, they get that cold stare, like, get the hell out of my way. You know, everybody want to be a super trucker sometimes, but uh, I just laugh, you know, laugh at these people. Uh, what you mad for? What you mad for, bro? You, you out work getting money like me, you should be happy. You know, all the people that's mad is the people that can't go make no money today. But if you woke up this morning, you feel me? You you able to make some money? Are you on your you you hustling? Whatever you gotta do to survive out here in these, in this cold world, you know, be happy about it. But you know, people be so damn angry to come to work. Like, if I'm having a bad day, I'm not gonna be driving this truck. What an attitude! I'm gonna be. You know what? I'm about to take today off and go figure out how to take this anger out of my soul. But a lot of people want to come to work angry what they do they make the whole world around them angry why i don't understand it but anyway so uh we ain't, can't find the empty container over here so we got to go to the other side damn these roads are just so damn bouncy seems like everywhere i've been going lately the roads are just crazy You're just bouncing up and down up and down bouncing They got potholes all over here. It's always fun going over these potholes. One thing I hate about looking for these empty containers, like after a while, all the containers start looking the same. But this drop yard isn't that bad like the other ones. There's a lot of drop yards out here. It's, it's a pain trying to find you an empty container or a loaded container. So we got our empty container. So now it's time to exit up out of here and uh, do what it do. Uh, tap in with y'all when we get to the ports. Let's get it. All right, everybody. So we just made it to ITS. And as you can see, here's the line to get into ITS. And uh, it's going to be a uh, pretty, probably get in there in the next 30 minutes. So it uh, looks like I'll be staying until shift change, which isn't such a bad thing because by the time I leave the ports, there's not that much traffic on the freeway, so let's get it, y'all. 
so we're waiting to get inside and that's a lot of drivers trying to get some money today all right guys so uh, we're inside the port so now we got to find our location which is t0 we got to go to t0 to get our empty container taken off uh, then after that we got to go to spot d4 to get our loading container and uh looks like uh they're about to be going to ship change so let's see how fast we can get this done let's go all right y'all so uh been waiting a few hours finally about to get my uh empty container taken off uh they just got back from a uh, ship change and it's been kind of congested at these ports today so uh a little a little bit of a line no biggie though so after this i'm going to my loaded container spot Hopefully it's not too many drivers there. And we can be in and out these ports. Good thing it will take me no more than an hour and 15 minutes to drop this off back in San Bernardino. That's the beautiful thing about waiting at the ports. I'd rather wait here and watch YouTube than be stuck in three hour traffic. Today's Thursday, so uh, going back to the Inland Empire from the ports in the middle of rush hour traffic is going to take about two and a half, three hours to get there. So uh, we uh, cut that time in half by just waiting at these ports. So now we got to look for uh, D4 and get our container. Then we can slide up out of here. Uh, having a good day today. Uh, ain't nothing like having a good day, man, you know. Every day for me is, is most mostly a good day. Woke up this morning, now we at the ports. Don't have too much to complain about. You know, so we gotta wait for these drivers, uh, these port workers to pass us up, then it'll be my turn to go. A, li a, little, a little note to you guys that's uh, newcomers to the ports. The short men always have the right of way. So uh, just have patience, you know, even, even if they're rude to you, just still have patience because you don't want to get kicked out of these ports or fined a hundred dollars by, by not having patience and cutting one of them off or something like that, you know. They, they try to ding us any way they could. So as long as you just stay under the radar and you do your thing, You'll be able to make your money in peace and you ain't getting bothered by nobody. And that's what I try to do. So it's a little bit of congestion up here. The parts are, parts are busy today. When I first came up in here, I thought it wasn't gonna be so bad, but once I got into this inside, it got a little crazy. Look at all them truckers trying to get some money. I don't see no driver shortage, nowhere. They always be talking that stuff about it being a driver shortage and not enough drivers. The number one reason why it's not enough drivers at the ports, because a lot of drivers are leaving the ports. You know, a lot of, a lot of drivers don't wanna put up with the drama of waiting hours to get a chassis or some days just work at the port, some days just not work at the port. Or, or you spend 14 hours just getting one load done and they're like, nobody, a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff. So they're, they're going OTR or finding other lanes to make their money, you know, but you gotta do what you gotta do, especially when you own a truck and that truck payment and that insurance gotta be paid, y'all, you know what I'm saying? so. You got to You got to stay. You got to stay consistent with that. You don't want to mess your money up not working. Then sometimes I look on the low board and the rates are so low, it makes absolutely no sense. Like I seen a, I seen a low last night from New Dock to 8 p.m. 
for 80 bucks. Like who's gonna even waste their time starting their truck up and trying to for 80 bucks? It's not even not even worth it. You know, but you, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do in this in this world we live in right now. But gas is going down and uh I'm thinking close to the end of the year, once it get like extremely busy with the Thanksgiving and Christmas, that the loads are gonna be real good for everybody. And it's gonna be more than enough work for us, y'all. So let's get it. So luckily there's nobody in, over here. Uh, just gotta wait for the cranes to come get us. Then we'll be out of here shortly. The cranes wave behind us. But uh, probably be out of here in the next 30 minutes, hopefully. Been here for about two hours already. And here's my spot. All right, y'all, I'll tap in with y'all when the crane comes. All right, y'all, just got my loaded container, been waiting a while. Easy money. They're trying to get it right. Looks like they got it. Waiting for him to give me the okay to leave. All right, bro. Uh, we out. We just got our money. So uh, now it's time to head to San Bernardino and figure out what we're going to do after that, y'all. Let's get it. All right, y'all. I'm going to hit this exit and get up out of here. We made a few dollars today. Everything looks good. We got a little waiting time. So uh, I'm going to hit this freeway in a minute. No traffic should be there in about an hour and 20 minutes. The most. Let's get it, y'all. All right, y'all. We made it to the warehouse. They gave me an empty list. So uh, we're gonna see if they have these empties here or we'll be Bob telling out, y'all. I'll give you an update soon, let's get it. All right, y'all, so I'll give you guys a quick update. There's no empties for me to take back. I looked, but some other drivers have picked those up. So we're just gonna Bob tell out. So I'll give you guys a update of the load. So we started in uh, Carson picked up the uh, empty container, took it to ITS, picked up the loaded container from ITS and brought it back to San Bernardino where Bob telling out in the full low page, almost 750, we got a couple of dollars. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned, I got a lot of content coming, let's get it.